I come to Syria 18 months before the Arab Spring and joined a media tour of the country. We're in geology museum at the moment. It's riveting, riveting stuff. The government were flying in journalists from all around the world to sell the country as their next tourist hotspot. They were more than happy for us to film, but they didn't like me asking any questions. Turn it off, please. It's off, it's off. If you don't find us here, you will find us there. The tour took us to the ancient site of Palmyra, once a notorious torture prison. Knowing that Syria's jails were full of political prisoners, I wanted to find a real story. Can you find me a gritty story? Why are you, all, why are you looking for something negative? Positive. You don't want to... Gritty doesn't mean negative. Gritty means real. Do you know any political prisoners? I took off on my own to the old city of Damascus, where one night I met Amma, who wanted to tell me about his wife, Ragda. She need a voice to be heard. Any people in this world, you know that. But his voice is very small. It's a very strong woman. I'm very weak man. Ragnar had been snatched by the secret police for writing a book criticizing the government. Amma hoped that my film would highlight her plight and help his young son Bob get his mum back. Mama, I guess my home. I guess my home. Here in Arab countries, nobody can say goodbye. Nobody knows when the, the government wants to take him, mm. catch him, or kill him. Mm. Maybe I can't say goodbye, Sean. Really? <laughs> when they catch me, yeah. Of course. You just disappear? Just disappear. Nine months without his mom. Nine months, yeah. Does he know she may be away for a long time? Yeah, he know that. You tell him? Yeah. One time he asked a policeman, I need my mama. The policeman, uh, you, maybe you be a man when your mother is here. Really? Yeah. Sure. I'm sorry. Look. Oh my God, show me. Mr. President Bashar Assad, uh, the president of the Syrian Arabian Republic. What do you think when you see that picture? I remember my mother. His boys take my mother. Do you know why they took your mother? Because she wrote uh, a book about uh, two uh, prisoners, uh, prisoners. prisoners uh, love each other. 
And who are those prisoners? Hmm. Uh, they're mom. <laughs> Did you like him before? Yeah. And now? No. Not too much. Does it make you want to leave? Yeah. Live somewhere else? Or fight. Fight? Fight who? The government. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amma was a Palestinian freedom fighter and Ragda a Syrian revolutionary. They met in prison 20 years earlier. I saw her from the hall and the door. <laughs> yeah. What did she look like? Uh, Ragda with blood and with the face, big face. Why? Big They've eye. been beating her? Yeah. yeah. After that, when I uh, wash my face, uh, I heard the uh, voice. Uh, you, you started speaking to each other through the pipe? Mm. Yeah, I speak with her. Hello. He said, hello. Keithik. <laughs> <laughs> and Arabic, how are you? Then the story began. The family live in the beautiful coastal town of Tartus, an area loyal to Assad. Ragda is from the same tribe as Assad, an Alawite, and receiving extra beatings in prison for rebelling. So uh, we speak again together. We can uh, make a hole in the wall. So I can see her from this hole. And uh, maybe after six months, yeah, I began to love her. And she loved me. In the year 2000, Bashar al-Assad took over from his father, promising reform after years of brutal oppression. It was a time of optimism, but years later, very little had changed. Freedom was a forbidden word. If you speak about democracy, uh, you are in a prison. Sure. Just speak. Like Ragda, what Ragda doing? I, I wait here. Yeah? I must wait here. Five years? Yeah, maybe uh, more. Ten years? Okay, I wait here. <laughs> I love her, man. Mm. Baba. When? Yeah, Baba. Be Mozahara to go mew. Go mew, give me a sword. Sword of the. Come on, 
one. Is it? Yeah. As a wave of revolutions take hold of the Arab world, Amr seizes an opportunity to get his wife out of prison, organizing protests in the center of Damascus. What happened? Mm, they catch us uh, yes. and they put us in the bus and let your heads down. We uh, get down from the bus and they put something, uh, this something on our eyes. Blindfold. Yeah, make this and walk like this. And boom, With the hands? Hands and uh, sticks, this. sticks, anything. Did they uh, beat you less because you were a child? They didn't different anybody, in, no different. Know the risk. Uh, why why are we there? I'm there for my wife. I need my wife with my uh, boys. We need my mama. I'm recording. Yeah, look. Protests were spreading all over Syria, and it was too dangerous to stay in Tartus. So the family were forced to leave their home and move to the Palestinian camp called Yarmouk on the outskirts of Damascus. This is Yarmouk? Yes. This is where the Palestinians live? Here? Yeah. Yes, everybody. Palestinian? Yes, Palestinian. Just Palestinian. Shadi, the only person in the family that's not been in prison? Yes. <laughs> How? Why? How and why? I, I don't know. Policeman will uh, love me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Despite what was happening in his country, Shadi wasn't political. He was more interested in winning back his ex-girlfriend, who happened to be pro-Bashar. I'm engaged. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Another one. And he. You was lost. You there. lost. Yeah. You lost her. I think he invited you tonight because his heart is still big for you. Yeah. He's trying to get, he's trying to... Yes. And he told me, leave him and come back to me. Shut it. And what do you think about what's happening with the country? The, the demonstrations every Friday now. Every Syrian with the president. But who is uh, uh, go on Friday? They, uh, they, these people from out, not in Syrian, people Syrian, no. Who shoot people? Not uh, the government uh, people, no. They are from out, yes. Not the army, not, not Mr. Bashar? No. no, no. Not Mr. Bashar, no the army. Of course, no. They cut his dick. They cut his penis? Yeah. He's dead and they still beat him. Are you surprised? Are you shocked? Yeah. How, how, how many people he's killed? I think I, think I, I didn't mind uh, in the past. Now, it's a killer.
Mm. Every young now, what he, what he did? I'm free. I, I'm I, uh, I'm not afraid. I'm not scary now. It's good for him. Everybody think uh, like that. And Ragda, he's not in prison for Ragda, nothing. Ragda, I think now, uh, for the people, she's like a flag. Not Ragda alone, with, the, with his uh, comrade, with her comrade. Like a flag, see, something is high, high thing. Do you want to see They kill maybe 150 people. 150, 150 people. Really? You don't look like you don't look like happy birthday. <laughs> mm, not happy today. Because of Ragda, because of revolution. No, not revolution. Revolution need the happy. No, I'm not the sad with revolution, but. Um, that drug is very bad for me. Yeah. It's missing. It's not. Uh, she's my comrade. It's not complete. It's not complete. Do you think it's real? The government will change. Do you think it's real? The system, not one man. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I think you're right. Maybe. <laughs> it is, though. It's true, isn't it? It is the system, it's not one man. Yeah, I know that. But who is this one man? Why why he here? Why he is a president? Because he's the son of the father. Fuck him and fuck him, father. If you are president, why the blood in the street? That's rare, isn't it? How come she's calling? Hi, Hakob. Hey, Habibti. Kifik. Hey, big, dear Akbar Miha. What are you going to tell her? She's going to tell her, Mama. I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her.
pressure on the government had led them to release a handful of political prisoners, including Ragda. <laughs> Before you were the boss and now you're not the boss. Um, I'm just uh, Now you're the assistant. I'm just a boy, you could have. Is Bob happy now that Mummy's back? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, you remember her eyes when like the in a prison? Different. Very different. Is Ragda okay after prison? Sometimes people feel down after the prison. No, uh, sometimes crazy. Uh, it's nervous. Uh, Angry. Uh, Why? She didn't know. <laughs> Yesterday she sleep here. And, uh, come like this. What happened there? Like said oh, I, I have a dream. Bad dream from a prison. Wow. A big stress is in a prison. They like killing a many, many body. I have body. many a friend feeling they have a big body and uh, evil eyes and I imagine these faces they coming to me and I have a, a special stress. I cannot take rest from anything. A special um, feeling. Emotions. I couldn't start to imagine what Ragda had gone through in prison, but little did I know I was about to find out. We've reported many times on the repression of protest by the Assad regime in Syria. But last week, that repression came rather closer to home. The independent filmmaker, Sean McAllister, was picked up by Syrian security forces and held for five days. I was blindfolded and taken in a car to a security prison and placed in a room where, through the walls, I could hear screaming and shouting and constant slapping. <laughs> After two years in Syria, I'd finally come face to face with the real brutality of this regime and what Bragda had been living with. The Syrian police took my camera with footage that I'd filmed of Amr and Ragda, meaning that they had to flee Syria and leave the revolution behind, through the mountains and over the border into Lebanon. <laughs> You're in another prison. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Ragda. How are you? Hey? Hello. 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 So when you left your house, you you left everything. You never went back. Everything, just one bag. Small bag. Yeah, caca bag, you know, it's, it's right. like, like your bag. You called me in the morning? Yes. Or in the night time? No, no, not in the morning. We call you? 
just in the night. We are sure. Sean Alice. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very bad tonight. That, uh, that night. Very bad. We, we cannot sleep. Neither could I. Yeah, we are. We, they were beating people. Mm -hmm. Terror. Yeah, all the time we are looking to <laughs> other eyes. What happened to Sean? Mukhabarat uh, ask you for me? Hmm. What? They came in one day. The big, the big chief came in one day, and I joked with him because he was carrying a pink telephone. I said, "Oh, that's nice. Is it yours?" And he looked at me. He said, "No, it's Ragnar's. We've just arrested her." <laughs> and I looked like this, really sad and shocked. And he said, "Look, why are you looking so shocked?" And he came over. He said, "Look, these people are bad people. We've got to get them." How does it feel to be in Lebanon now? No, empty feeling of bad thing. Because? I don't know. I don't know what uh, I what I want um, to because I haven't any <laughs> any possibility possibility to to do anything. I'm just a prisoner. The revolution back in Syria was becoming more bloody by the day. Body bags were building up on both sides now, and the death toll was over 150,000. But being away from the revolution, Ragda seemed to be struggling. If you had the choice, tomorrow you would go here Europe. or here? No, Europe. If you ask me, yeah, I want to go to The family earns new starts. Uh, it's no future here for our children. We, can, we cannot uh, send them to that school. You talked to Ragnar about Europe? Yeah, but she said, uh, no. Maybe she can, maybe, maybe she changed her, her mind a few weeks later. أشرح له إنه يعني نحن ما قبل الثورة إذا تركنا هلا تخلينا عن الثورة تعتبر مثل إنه أو خيانة يعني أو إنه يعني إنه مثل موقف سيء. And you said we got her up and then she let, she just uh, ran away. 
My. She's gone where? I don't know. She said, I'm in Syria. She's not coming back. Who's? Ragda. No, she didn't come. And uh, no work, you know. Everybody say, where are you from? Are you Lebanese? No, I'm sorry, I'm Syrian. We are sorry, go out. So what's the choice? What's the future? What's the, what's, what, what, what can you do? Yeah, I, I, I went to... Did you go to the UNHCR? UNHCR yeah. What did they say? Uh, they asked me about Ragda, where is she? Yeah. I, so, I don't know. She lived with uh, us. What could they do? If Ragda with us, oh. we are a family. Yeah. From Syria. Ragda is Syrian opposition. And uh, you can go we, are, we are her family. But when we are alone, and it's if, nothing. If Ragda was with you, they can send you to America or Britain yeah, or... Right. Yeah. out on childhood, a life on the road, changing houses, moving, moving, moving. Yeah, no, but in Tartus we was calm a little bit. And I found friends who care about me, who's like me. I really had a real friends. Mm. My life in Tartus was very beautiful. Then they checking politic and it's just messed up. And Everything was was in the wrong way. You were in love before prison. I think that time. I think she loved me. It's no. good in Damascus. When we are here, something inside like that changed. Maybe she was going through some crazy moments because of her time in prison and things. Yes, Sunshine. I think uh, when she when she free and uh, show the revolutions begin. She want to be something, she want to change something. She pay her, uh, her life before. Yeah. Yeah, she cannot to be Che Guevara and mother. I look in uh, his eyes. He, he didn't know what happened. Every woman, he asked her, are you my mom? Yeah, what happened in my heart? It's broken every day. crush everything good or sweet in our life, me and the children. I think, oh, oh, what do you do? Do you think it's the end? What, like that? Yeah. in Paris. After three months in Syria, Ragda had returned. And because of her status as a known revolutionary, they were able to get asylum in France. You want to go home? You... I miss 
our lemon tree. Less. You see? Some less. And the kidinia. Do you know kidinia? Would you go home alone or with Amma? You're not going to leave him here. Uh -huh. If you want. <laughs> I really like it. I love it. <laughs> Who is this? Wow. Oh, Bashar, let's Well, no, let me get a shot. Doesn't think she look young? She was him. Oh, Bob. Whoa! Bob is fatty. Yes. I don't you said Like mafia. Shabby. Oh, my best friend. Ama. Ama. She was younger. <laughs> With some hair. There was three hairs more. Oh. Is that okay? Oh. 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 I'm not going to see them. 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 I'm not Is that your friend? Maman, il y a, il y a présent parce qu'il y a fait la, comme ça la vidéo. Mais pourquoi il, toujours il vient en France après Albi? Mais t'es es arabe? Oui, je suis arabe. Mais lui, elle... mais lui, c'est ton tonton. Non, c'est pas mon tonton. This is Albi. One, two, three, look, look at me. Four, five, five six, mix. You're listening to Radio LBJ's on 95. You're listening to Radio LBJ's 95. On, oh fuck. Or you can visit the. Oh fuck. Or you can. Oh shit, yeah. Vous êtes sur Radio LBGS dans l'émission Mondophonie avec moi Richard Daroul. 
Je suis né à Damas en Syrie. Et quand je suis né, mon père entre de prison. Quand j'ai grandi, ma mère entre de prison. Quelques mois après, ma mère sortit. Puis, l'ambassade la, de France nous, nous, a, nous a donné un visa pour vivre en France. شو أحلى عزرت المدرسة اليوم؟ لا ليك عم بلدك ليش؟ شو عم بلدك؟ أنا أنا كنت عم بطلع فيه وهو عم بيقول لي أنت بنت وأنا بدي أضربه قريب من العظمي بس إيه قالوا في رفقاتي رحت عندنا على المشفى كانوا من بالارض مسكتين ميتين عم بغمض لنا عيون الماء تغمض العيون اللي فيها اللي هذا دائما كان معي راشد ما تحت التعذيب بالله حفروا جسمه بالمسقط المسقط؟ اول هيز بادي از دريلد او نو اند ذات واي اي واز شوك انت بالبنسه عشان الاسلام خلي الناس تفكر على وزارة الفتن شو القرارات اللي اتخذت وشو كانت بدءا من عدم عدم الاقتراب بوجود ثورة في سوريا ست شهور ما في اقتراب ابدا عالمي ما عندنا ثورة لهلا ما بتصير ايه بعد بعد هيك المعتقلين ما بيتجاوز 1000 شخص صاروا هلا 250 الف شخص يو سبيك وذ اف يو وونت سبيك وذ اني اني سيتيزن ان يوروب اباوت What his mind about the, uh, what happened in Syria? He said, "What oh, fuck? Let him kill himself. We are here, okay? We can. We, we don't want him to come here. But like me, like a refugee. The Middle East problem come to Europe as well. How do you feel about Bob when he uh, has uh, 20, 20 years as a bench? Yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah, that's good, but uh, you think he can? Sure. He can't forget his memory. I think so. Because he's so young. Each night they'd listen to Arabic music and dream of Syria. But the wounds of the past hadn't yet healed. <coughs> إنه كل رجل بهاي الحياة كل شخص مو بالرجل يعني بيبحث عن حدا بيحبه إله هو الحب العشقي ودائما مش شهرين ايه مش شهرين لا بيحبه هو مو صديق مو أخ مو قريب حبيب كل إنسان في هذا الكون بيبحث عن هذا الشخص هلا كانت المداخلة اني انا شكلت لك هذه هذا الشخص اني انا بحبك الك في كل الوقت وماني ما بشكل لك اي احد ثاني الا حبيب بكل معنى الكلمة انت ما كنتي ولحد هلا انا لا اشعر بذلك مو ما كنتي لا كنتي بس انا اكتشفت انه ما كنتي كنت عم بحكي عن عم بحكي عن ترابلس يعني اذا اكتشفت انا انه انا لا ما كنت الحبيب يعني. لحد اليوم انت ما حللتي وما كسرتي الحالة هاي لا أرد أشعر أنا أنه فعلاً أنا الحبيب الوحيد إلي أو الحبيب فقط بالترابلوس أنا تأكدت أنه إذا في مشاعر فهي تفحمت يعني موجودة أو ما موجودة ما فكرت بالموضوع عرفت؟ فأنه أفضل حل من شان الواحد يكون عنده نتفة له علاقة بالإنسانية يعني تتركه مثل يموت مثل الكلب أقصى حالات الألم والانفجار ما عادش تسوي ما عادش ما عادش تسوي شيء
وطفرتها اصلا ترجع هيك يعني يعني تحمي حنية الأم حنية الزوجة والبنت البسيطة يعني البنت البسيطة اللي ما بدها كل الأسرار وكل العقد بالداخل Who would have ever thought you'd have been coming to a place like this? More beautiful. More beautiful, yeah, more peaceful. Apart from at home. It's full of pain, huh? Yeah? I don't know. I can't tell you what does he feel because I can't... I, can't, I don't know what I feel. After this shit. No, really, I don't know who's right, who's wrong, until now. And even this morning, Bob got up and came to me. He said to me, uh, last night, uh, sleeping, sleeping, uh, but fighting in here. Baba, mama, dada, ba, 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 ba. Bobby sleeping. Bob hear everything. No, really, <laughs> he's like the Mukhabarat. He, uh, he can hear anything. Bob's free, huh? I think. Not yet. Do you think Dad's free? No. Do you think Dad will ever be free? I don't know, but he is in the cage of his mind. If his memory, I don't know. It's not, he's not free yet. Mum? Same. Same cage? The same cage. Same prison? The same prison. But you want to find a peaceful way to go forward, don't you? After the war, you want the peace, no? No, it's the same problem all the time. Because I thought the problem was that Ragda didn't want to be with you. Maybe, Maybe I wait her to, to, to change his, her mind. He want to be winning, winning all the time. She cannot lost anything. But if you lost everything, don't worry. I prayed with her, and I love her. Has been pointed out by people. My name is Mud. I've been dreaming all the dreams. Is that what's happened? That she's no longer Nobody there? know her. And she cannot uh, be uh, special like Syria. She thinks I have a, my power now. Does she feel that? She feels that, but uh, for so me... For does me, she feel she hasn't got the control over Amma? Yes. Before you were hoping that still you could make it work with Ragnar. 
But now are you different? Are you thinking different? Are you thinking it's too hard? It's too hard. Yes. In Barcelona? Yes. Where's Papa now? Go. What's you? He's a... Uh, she knows the hawk. Friends. Friends. Mm -hmm. Go friends, but his friend love. Love him. Yeah, but my dad, my mom, no love. How do you how do Bob feel? What do you think? How do you feel today, Bob? Zalem. Mm, How do you think my, my feeling uh, that time? I lost my wife. I'm in Middle East. I have a children. They have nothing, no ID, no money, nothing. No love. My wife, it's not just wife. She's my comrade, she's my wife. Everything between us, we do everything together. I loved her more than anyone can love anybody. That's what I feel. What she do? What she think about us? Nothing. Now she feel a pain. Pain Paul. Why? She have to try. Two years after, she do nothing about that. She cannot say I'm sorry. Never. Ragda had hidden Amma's laptop, so he couldn't speak to his girlfriend. Where can? 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 He bring this woman and make a queen in his life and control everything. Do that, don't do that. Do that, don't do that. Do you think that's true? Well, I don't know, but you, you, before, he loved you. When? When you were in prison, he loved you. All Syrian loved any prison. 
No, he was. He left his wife. He left his wife. Was in prison. How? How can I? How can I? You, you understand, Sean? But I say like any prisoner, like any Syrian, love prisoners. I wish if I came back two years, just one minute I can change. One minute. When she gets arrested. Do you think there will be a real family someday? I hope so. I don't think so. There was a lot of emotion tonight, like you were a family that was in trauma, that you were a family trying to come to terms with things. Uh -huh. Kill us off. Yeah, don't forget. What did you do? What? what did I, you do? I cleaned up everything. Lots of blood. Was it dangerous? Yes. Was it dangerous? Yes, very dangerous. Sure, it's close. The blood, like. You know, when you cut your arm, what were you thinking about before you did that? <coughs> I'm very sad. This day because uh, I feel I'm, I'm a loser. And, uh, everything is bad. And I'm I was very tired. Life in France is not good. Yes. Um, important reason is I have a problem in myself, but uh, no, nobody take care for me because all the family need to take. I am take care for him, but I want. I didn't know why or how or every. Um, everything happened quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, a revolution, and you were arrested, and uh, we going to Lebanon, and I don't know. I have many problems. Yes. 
Christ. Me, Christ. Not to Aha. Not to adventure started when the movie started. <laughs> no, really, come on. Think about it. You you started filming when we was moving from the house, the downstairs house. That was... In Tussles, yeah. When you were a little boy? Yeah, I was a little boy. Did you think it was a bad idea when he was starting the revolution, or did you think it was a good idea? When we started? Yeah. It was a good idea, I think. I think I thought it was a good idea. What happened? Why did it turn bad? Because, look now, nothing is going to build this again. Nobody. Everybody want to go out. Because everybody is thinking that Syria is going to be so awful. So everybody is going out. Who's in Lebanon, they will stay in Lebanon. Who's in Jordan, they will stay in Jordan. Who's in Turkey, they will stay in Turkey. I will stay in France. Everybody is think thinking like that. So Syria, I think it will be just... Yamuk? Yes. You're home? Yes. Shit. Yes, my friend. This is him? Yes, my friend. This is me. I am here. I am here. How old was he? Uh, 25. Why was he killed? A uh, bomb. In the street. You're going in the university. Um, bomb uh, street. Yes. Two sister. Yes. This and this girl. In Yarmouk? Yes, Yarmouk. Everybody here in Yarmouk. I never expected when I started making this film five years ago that it would become a story of a family living in exile in the West, watching as a country is destroyed beyond recognition. The price of this revolution has been so high, and everyone has lost so much. Beautiful girl. She killed. She... No. Yeah. She was going to get married. Did she get married? I feel in my side, I feel I'm good now. I'm free now. This woman, let me smile again. Let me smile and quiet. Not you. You have two years to make that, but you do nothing. Now that she's saying she loves you, now that she's saying she No, she, want... she said nothing about she, that. She did. Never, Sean. She just told me. Now. Yeah. Now. Thank she you. Said... OK, thank you. After two years, after I know another woman, after my heart is, is fucking pieces. You understand? He asked me all this two years, a famous two years, you love me. I said, yes, I love you, Amir. This word, he didn't remember that. He remember, or he want to say, please, Amir, I am guilty. Kill me, beat me make everything but yeah. but he didn't okay. remember when he asked me you love me radna mm. i said yes mm. i love you 
قلت لك هذيك اليوم لا تنتظر مني تصريح خذ القرار اللي بدك اياه لا تنتظر مني تصريح خذ القرار اللي بدك اياه بتخليك تبتسم بتخليك تضحك بتخليك تجن تصطفل إلك خيارك ما لي رابطتك انا لا بتخت ولا باجر كرسي ولا بشيء ولا رابطتك بشيء انت اللي عم تقول انه انت صاحب الحب العظيم وانا ما بحبك صح بس ما بتعرف غير ألمك جرح الآخر بحياتك ما رح تحس فيه وإلي قديش بقول لك أنا رح ضل انتظر وأنا ما رح أعمل شيء وما رح سوي شيء ورح ضل حبك لحتى موت وما إلك علاقة شو بيصير فيني ولا إلك علاقة إذا بموت حالي أو بذبح حالي روح اعمل اللي بدك اياه بس لا تنتظر مني تصريح قل لك إيه روح عيش اللي عمل اللي بدك اياه لا تطلب مني هذا الطلب You happy? Yes. Is life good? Come, I, I, video. <laughs> oh, Tartus. The cat's called Tartus. Yes. You call the cat Tartus. <laughs> do you know? Do you know Tartus? Yes. Do you, this. Do you remember Tartus, the town, the, your home, in Syria, Tartus? Syria. No, in Beirut. No, Syria. You were living in Tartus. <gasps> You were three years old. Yes, yeah. Tartus. You were a little baby in Tartus, three years old. Mm. And uh, your mummy in a prison. No. You? Yeah, in Tartus. No. Yeah, she no. was. She was in prison. She come out of prison. Yes. And then Sean went to prison. You? 
You go yeah. to the prison? Yeah. Huh? Huh. The Syrian prison. From revolutionary to farmer. <laughs> I wonder what would have happened if you just stayed there. If you were in Syria now. I do. Would you? <laughs> I search about food because nobody can eat. What would, what would Bob and Kaka be doing? They do nothing. Waiting for someone to kill them. You finished your film, Sean. Why you continue? Now I start to be... Mm, Calm. Quiet. I start to be... Choose a life. Choose my way in life. And save. Save. It's important. We are, we are not safe here, you know. Remember, we was under the kilt every day. I don't know how I can say, but... Uh, we have no life, never. We have no, no hope, no future, nothing. No, nothing for tomorrow. Now it's the opposite, exactly. All of them have a future, very clear. And they have a life now. So it's a happy end? I say, thank God, that Muslim people are now. <laughs> what about Ragdad? Huh? When do you think about her? Uh, now I'm quiet, really. Never? Sometimes? Now I'm quiet, but before, yes. It was uh, stress. Uh, I'm angry and no, I'm quiet. And really, I hope a good life for her. You're in another prison. How are you? I am cult uh, culture and uh, politic advisor with the uh, post of government. Amazing. Yes. It's a good job? Yeah. I, I cannot change. Man many waves uh, take me to, to strange places, but inside me still. I have this hope for you, for freedom, for my country. What about Albi? Do you think so, do you think France was a mistake? I'm happy for my children because I have a good school, uh, have passport, have papers, have a safe place. I looking for myself. I didn't know who I am. And. Are you finding yourself now here in Turkey? Now, uh, when I remember bad thing, I'm feeling bad and pain, but I speak with myself, stop, you walk at the right street, no, right road, you are strong, you are do right to build the future for Kaka and Anibal and Chadi and Fadi, if they want. I want to return back, but when I am strong, I have many questions about myself inside. I need answer. But now I'm start.